Welcome to Physio Diaries GH YouTube channel. My name is Thomas Bill, as you know already. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about one of the modalities which is being utilized by most physiotherapy units in managing conditions, infrared radiation. So, yes, so this is an infrared device. Infrared can also be termed simply as IRR, infrared radiation. Now, this machine that you see comes into different forms. We have other ones there that are not portable like this one, as we see. And this one is a portable one. This one is called portable infrared lamp. You see. So we have other ones with stand that you can place somewhere and then you set it on the patient. Now infrared radiation has been adapted to be used in the medical field for treating conditions. Now infrared radiation is located between visible light and microwave. It has a wavelength of 760 nanometers to 1 millimeter, 1 millimeter. And then it also has a depth of penetration of 3 millimeters, 3 millimeters. Depth of penetration means that it is a point or depth where about 60% of the radiation produced by the machine is being absorbed by the tissues on which it is being applied. So depth of penetration of 3 millimeters. The radiation is very important and crucial part of therapy in physiotherapy because it's, it's a heating modality and it has the positive potency to penetrate into the skin to body tissues, I mean deeper body tissues, depending on duration uh, within which the machine is applied. Now, I would love to enlighten you about this particular modality. Now, the tissues with high protein content are able to absorb much of the radiation energy. So you can think of bone. And it is very important that we take notes when we are using infrared for therapy because if you focus much of the radiation on a bony prominence it means you are going to uh, get the patient bent because the bone is going to absorb a lot of the radiation which will get heated and you can bend the patient now uh, one thing you have to know is that when you are also using this infrared radiation whether stand one or this portable one you always have to make sure the uh, device is set perpendicularly to the body where it is being exposed you see perpendicular as in uh, 90 degrees to the body where it is applied so that the radiation can penetrate into the skin and the 60% that we talk about that is the radiation being absorbed by the body can also be achieved. Yes, so when you uh, place the radiation or the device perpendicular to the skin, that is where it can penetrate deep into the body. You see, yes, so you need to be mindful about that. But before you use the device, to, you have to also note that you always use the patient feedback. Yes, so when you set the patient would give you feedback that oh it's too hot it's too hot for me you see then i have to increase the, the, the distance from the tissue between the tissue and the what the device yeah so you always have to use the patient feedback to set your intensity and the intensity is determined by you uh, increasing the distance between the tissue and the device you see when you draw, draw it closer, the intensity increases. Getting it far, the intensity decreases. But there is a time you can also set, which is mostly uh, very effective when you use 15 to 20 minutes. Yes. So let's look at um, the effects of this 
modality. When you apply infrared radiation, uh, it has a greater effect that because it's a heating modality, it is able to uh, cause vasodilation and uh, expand tissues. So, in cases of joint stiffness, muscle spasms, muscle garden, pain management, this particular modality can be used in dealing with those cases. Yes, so muscle spasm, muscle garden, joint pains, I mean musculoskeletal pains, you understand? You can use this modality in the management. But you have to also understand that it is a heating modality and for that matter uh, it's going to increase a lot of inflammation so in cases where there is inflammation ongoing it is not advisable to use infrared radiation but you can rather use cold therapy or cold agents to achieve your purpose in acute cases you understand yes and then um, you have to also note that when you are dealing with infrared uh, device, it is a heating modality. So always make sure that patient sensitivity is in that, otherwise you are going to cause pains to the patient. And then make sure the patient doesn't have any uh, anything like maybe metal on him or her, because the metal will get heated and can burn the patient. So patients who have undergone metallic implants, you don't have to use this. Although it is a superficial, it produces superficial effects, but it can get to the metallic implants when the duration is a bit, I mean, uh, long. You understand? So do not always use uh, infrared radiation on patients who have been put on metallic implants. Yes, so we will end here. We've learned something about infrared radiation. We know the wavelengths, the depth of penetration. The wavelength I said is 760 nanometers to 1 millimeter, and the depth of penetration is 3 millimeters. Know that when you are applying, you apply perpendicularly to the skin or to the body so that about 60% of the radiation can penetrate into the skin and can give you that. Uh, effects that you want and always make sure you don't use infrared radiation on patient on metallic implants patient with uh, impaired sens sensation is going to use it on those patients or when you want to use it make sure you are more cautious and you keep an eye on the patient as well